America generates about 97 billion pounds of plastic waste every year, the most on the planet. The U.S. is part of a global summit in South Korea where world leaders are searching for ways to reduce plastic production, but they are struggling to agree on the best solutions. In this country, one of the biggest users of single-use plastic cups is Starbucks coffee. 75 percent of its business is cold drinks, typically served in plastic cups. Starbucks encourages customers to place those cups in its recycle bins. But CBS News discovered most of those cups never get recycled. Here's National Environmental Correspondent David Schechter. Which way is he going? He's going right. Staking out Starbucks dumpsters and trailing garbage trucks like a detective is not Jandell's actual job. You're right up on him. I have to be because, David, I lost him once. Dell is an anti-plastic activist and a former member of the California Statewide Commission on Recycling. I don't think he's made us. Oh, David, gosh. I, don't, I don't think he's made he us. He made us a half hour ago. <laughs> and she's not just following the trucks. Dell also puts tracking there. devices inside plastic cups and puts them in recycling bins inside Starbucks stores. She dropped eight in Orange County, California, and all of them ended up here at the landfill. That white pile is exactly where these things have come. Is Starbucks misleading its customers? I think it's pretty simple, David. If they say, hmm, there's a recycle bin, you put a plastic cup in it, and instead that plastic cup gets picked up by a trash truck and goes to a landfill, they're not telling the truth. To expand on Jan's work, our CBS journalists across the country dropped cold drink cups with trackers attached inside into recycling bins at Starbucks locations. Some never generated a signal, but 36 did, and we tracked those cups until they stopped. Here's what we found. 14 trackers last pinged at landfills. Another 13 went to waste transfer stations, places that don't recycle plastic. They compact trash before sending it to a landfill. Five ended up at incinerators that burn trash, and only four pinged at locations that accept recycling. What's your reaction to that? That is unacceptable. It's disappointing. Amelia Landers is vice president of product innovation at Starbucks. I think you're making a promise to the customer that this is going to get recycled. Are you being honest with the customer? What we're focused on is what we can control, which is the education for our customers. Like clearly labeling recycling bins with what goes inside them, even though some customers will contaminate bins with trash. Ultimately, she says, the company can only control what happens inside its stores. And once it leaves our store, we, there are a number of elements that can that can come into play that um, don't guarantee that it, it lands up in the right place. We met Landers at Starbucks headquarters in Seattle. This innovation lab inside a warehouse space includes a full working store. This is where we at Starbucks build, test, design, iterate, and innovate. Starbucks has committed to cutting its waste in half by 2030. As part of that, it will put your drink into your own reusable cup. And at the lab, the company developed this, a new single-use cup made with up to 20% less plastic. It's taking over 13 million pounds of plastic out of the landfill every year. We asked Jan Dell about that. I feel like if you see it, you own it and you know better. Because she's also a chemical engineer, and she's concerned that Starbucks' new and improved cup is still made of number five polypropylene plastic a material that is difficult and expensive to recycle. Show me the factory in America where there's a whole bunch of cups going through and getting recycled, and they can't show you. Can that cup actually be recycled? Yes, our cups are designed to be recycled. Where, where do you re recycle a number five plastic cup? The, there are uh, recycling facilities that do recycle number five polypropylene. But not very much of it. The latest EPA report on plastics recycling found the U.S. generated 320 million pounds of number five plastic cups and plates, but recycled less than 1% of it. And as we've learned, most of the cups we tracked simply ended up as waste. We have to get companies to be honest that these plastics are not recyclable. For CBS News, I'm David Schechter in Irvine, California. WCCO did participate in this investigation. We dropped one cup in St. Paul, one in Otsego, and one in Richfield. The St. Paul cup last pinged at an incinerator. 
the Otsego Cup ended up at a waste transfer station, and we never got a response from the Richfield Cup. If customers are concerned about plastic waste, Starbucks now allows you to bring your own clean, reusable cup to any store in the country. They'll serve your drink in it, whether you order it in the store, through the app, or through the drive-thru.